for the applications which are available uh, for provisioning on uh, content delivery networks, uh, the most important, uh, much yearned for and complex to provide are the uh, on-demand video services uh, as well as live streaming services. How are these provided? Let's look at an interesting case study. Basically, if we want to provide video services, it's no more a sing simple thing to do because we are interested in offering services which involve real-time delivery. So we need a platform which is based on uh, the NGN IP based core um, to offer services at a country wide scale. For that, uh, there is a very interesting example from ITVP uh, from Poland. Uh, we are going to look at it in detail. What they provided at the national level was uh, IPTV broadcasting service uh, involving live TV programming, uh, video on demand, uh, audio on demand only, and then time shifting, which is the um, movement of the um, cursor on the scroll bar to the desired place in, uh, uh, in the video. It is uh, easy to be done in streaming, but it's not possible in live. Uh, you can do that for the past uh, video shorts, but you can't, of course, do it for future. Then electro electronic program guide, which is more of a, a directory service and uh, video recording features. Now for uh, an application uh, which has to incorporate all these interesting features at the national scale is going to become very complex. The challenges which are going to emerge are um, high volumes of data. The transmission rate is going to increase uh, uh, tremendously. If we assume that uh, uh, a video session requires around 1 megabits per second. Um, still, if we aggregate it, this turns out to be very large. So if uh, we think about a centralized uh, uh, video service, uh, it is impossible to realize. So a content delivery network becomes our compulsion. Uh, once we have CDN, we inherit the uh, beautiful features that we are already aware of. So we need to provide the replication caching, nodal placement, and access mechanisms. All this under the umbrella of a certain quality of service, which is part of the service level agreement between the user and the uh, provider. For that, some measurement and monitoring uh, activity would be required. So this is uh, basically uh, uh, Polish TV, ITVP. Um, it has been designed as CDN in a hierarchical manner. What they've done is they split the entire country into regions and each region has its own registry or directory. Uh, multiple encoding formats are provided on the CDN which are suited for delivery on uh, small screen sizes, uh, set-top boxes for uh, smart televisions, and for uh, personal computers and laptops. Uh, the overall uh, design of uh, the ITV um, is from the functional and uh, organizational structure um, defined. Uh, from the functional viewpoint, uh, ITVP addresses uh, the content uh, delivery, um, its monitoring, the overall management uh, and control, uh, plus reporting format. Uh, the organizational structure is such that there are exclusive third-party content providers, then the CDN operator, which uh, in this case is the Polish government or Polish state because uh, ITV is a state-owned uh, television, and the network providers, which are again uh, competitors or uh, um, commercial enterprises in the form of ISPs. This is the complete uh, technology platform uh, for ITVP. It's very uh, simple to understand. We have the content provider system, which have different encoding formats. Uh, they have their own repository for, uh, for videos, music, uh, and um, live transmission. 
uh, there is a way for them to publicize their content and to keep it secure. Um, upon content request, the content is provided to the uh, content delivery network. The content delivery network uh, is the main focus because it is the uh, state-owned television. So the Polish government uh, came up with the overall management of uh, the CDN. Here, uh, there are, of course, management entities which oversee the distribution of uh, this content from the content provider system. Um, they actually have a two um, level or hierarchically uh, two state system. Uh, they have uh, the regional content centers which are used for uh, replication and the proxying or cache services which are used only for localized, localized uh, cache or uh, content storage for short time. Then the content delivery is done to the users um, through the internet service providers. Um, we also see we have uh, um, uh, the customer uh, relationship management system, the interface or the portal, and uh, the uh, relationship of the interactive portal is uh, established for uh, licensed usage through a license management system. So this is the platform, but this platform is going to be usable uh, at the larger scale through the incorporation of a content delivery network. The CDN has always uh, handled a uh, trade-off between uh, competing interests. For instance, the quality of service expected from the users is very high, but it all depends upon the overall cost incurred to incorporate replication and uh, caching servers. For that, uh, the uh, state government decided to provide a mix of uh, these by incorporating a limited number of uh, replication and caching servers. The mode of delivery uh, is uh, either download and play, which is more like file transfer or uh, a streaming service. And uh, for streaming is for stored content as well as for live content. The um, content delivery network architecture, specifically in the uh, um, uh, content in the case of IITVP uh, has a two uh, layer hierarchical setup where we have the original content servers from the content providers. We've got different regions with their central registries and the replication is taking place at the regional level. But uh, for last mile, uh, the proxying or caching is taking place. Um, this is the um, overall architecture. Now, a point to be noted is that uh, this is at national scale. So the state um, will and the state infrastructure is at the disposal of uh, ITVP. Uh, this is uh, taken from content delivery networks by Rajkumar Bhaiya and um, Mr. Pathan. 